It's, I, I think the important thing to remember here, this is quite a mature bear market in commodity prices. You know, we're four years in uh, to commodities generally. So uh, I think the, the share prices that are linked to that have come an awful long way. We're not done yet. You need to clear out some of the excess capacity. Iron ore is an obvious case in point. But, but the, the signs I'm picking up, there's a lot of stress amongst some um, domestic Aussie iron ore companies that may well be an marking a capitulation point if and when it comes about. So I, I think actually the greater vulnerability in the Aussie share market is more in the banks and uh, in the yield stocks, which would be Telstra. Uh, but if you, if, if you look uh, across the Aussie market as a whole, its PE relative to the US market is about as expensive as it's ever been. So it's an overvalued share market, I think principally because of those five key stocks, whereas the miners have actually really come down an awful long way. So they may go a little bit further, but it, it is a mature bear market. Uh, and really, I think over the next 12 months, if we're right about the whole playbook we've just discussed, then eventually we'll find a flaw in those stocks. Uh, there'll be an interesting buying opportunity. Yeah, for sure. I mean, that's, that's the cycle. I mean, this is, people go bust at the bottom of the cycle. That generally marks the bottom of the cycle because you're cleaning out the excess uh, supply. So the indebted guys are clearly the most vulnerable. Uh, the high cost producer, of course, yeah, they would absolutely be the most vulnerable, vulnerable cases in point.